I'm Mayor Steve Gawron. With the problems in Flint and their drinking water, questions have come up about whether this is an issue for us here in Muskegon. The short answer is no. We have met all the regulation regarding lead sampling and testing. We will continue to supply high quality drinking water to the people of Muskegon and our surrounding communities. Hi, I'm Gary Nealon, Mayor of the City of Norton Shores. Lately, some questions have come up about the switchover of Fruitport Township in the City of Norton Shores to the Muskegon Water Filtration Plant from the City of Muskegon Heights. There should be no concern. The chemical makeup of the water is nearly identical as both plants draw their water from Lake Michigan with intakes only miles apart. There should be no concern about the piping in the ground because the coatings remain intact. Hello, I'm Eric Hood, Vice Mayor, City of Muskegon. The city has conducted all required monitoring and sampling since the lead and copper rule was established. Sampling over the years, we've always met the standard and never exceeded levels which required any action since the start in 1993. Hi, I'm Frank Peterson, Muskegon City Manager. The city of Muskegon has no lead service lines. While we do have some lead goosenecks, which are the short connections that connect the city's water main to the private lines that service our homes, these goosenecks are replaced whenever they are encountered. Due to the lower corrosive nature of our water, these connections should not trouble us. Sampling results over the years have met all federal standards. Hi, I'm Mike Green, your superintendent of the Muskegon Water Treatment Plant. Every three years we're required to sample 30 different homes for their lead and copper results. This past sampling period, which ended in 2014, we took 41 samples. Our result at the 90th percentile was 11 parts per billion. This is required to be below 15 parts per billion. The city of Muskegon has never violated the 90th percentile rule. These results are mailed out to all of our customers in the consumer confidence report, as well as the individual results are mailed out to each of the individual homeowners. Our current impression of what's going on in Flint is they switch from a less corrosive source to a more corrosive source. Here in Muskegon, the water plant's been in the same location for over 100 years. This, as well as having a team of people keeping an eye on things all the time, should make this no concern. A simple solution if you are concerned about your home's plumbing is to run your water for 20 seconds to two minutes. This will flush out the old water and reintroduce the city's fresh water back into your system for consumption. Homes built before 1986 are more likely to have lead in faucets and fixtures or have lead in the solder joining copper pipes. Plumbing standards have changed and new faucets and fixtures have no lead content. They pose no risk to your drinking water. We have been working with or have been in contact with our regulating agencies including water plant officials, state and national organizations to keep an eye on the quality of our water. The City of Muskegon Water Filtration Plant has a chemist, engineer, and many technicians with many years of experience in water filtration. The elected officials and employees of the City of Muskegon care about its citizens and want to assure everyone we are continuously monitoring our water quality. We will continue to reach out on our website, media, social media, and every other means we have. Questions about our water quality, lead in drinking water, or how the situation in Flint is related to what we do here in Muskegon should be referred to Mike Greiner, Muskegon Water Filtration Plant Superintendent. Our drinking water, as it leaves the plant, contains no lead. The main source of lead in drinking water is from corrosion of household and building plumbing. Lead can leach into the water from pipes, solder, fixtures, and brass faucets and fittings. The amount of lead depends on the corrosive nature of the water as well as the time it sits in the pipe. If you would like to have your water tested for lead and copper, please contact Trace Analytical at 231-733-5998. To arrange for a sample bottle and procedure. The fee is $25. They are under contract with the County Health Department. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality Laboratory can also be reached 
at 517-335-8184 and we'll run a lead and copper sample for a fee of $26. On behalf of the City of Muskegon, thank you for watching.